That's really cool. <laughs> That's great. That's real good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Look at Cedar from the intro. Hey. Yeah, Liam. <laughs> oh, Liam's in the mirror. Liam, I had hey. Liam. I had a weird dream about your brother last week. Uh oh, how <laughs> was he in the dream? He had just fallen out of an airplane. Oh, my brother <laughs> what? And it, and he was dying, and I gave him the Heimlich maneuver, and you like you were there too, and you just didn't really give a shit. How did he? How did you give him the Heimlich maneuver? He was laying on a on a mattress, and I kind of went like this, <laughs> like right into his and chest. And then he fell off the plane. In the, in no, the air? He, already, he had already fallen. By you, that point. Oh, when he was on the ground, you gave it to him? Yeah, yeah. Whoa. He, he was he was in pain or something. <laughs> well, that's and crazy. And you were there too, and you were like, oh, whatever. Well, hey, everybody, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's your daily <laughs> hour with me. <laughs> the end. <laughs> it's your daily hour with me. What happens here on the program, we start the, up the machine, start talking, talk for an hour. Sometimes we have guests, and sometimes we uh, make phone calls, stuff like that. Yeah, we just got right into the conversation today. It's with Brianna. Yeah. Hi, and yeah, you see her, and Liam. Yeah. What? So did he uh, did he wake up when you gave him CPR? Or? That was the end of the dream. I don't know the end. Oh, I don't I mean, know that was the end. I don't know what happened to Sean. That sounds scary. Yeah, they say scary. they say that if you die in your dreams, then you die in real life. But if somebody else dies in your dreams, is that is that the same? I don't no, think I, so. I thought it symbolized the new beginning in your life. If you die, okay. Oh, okay. So, you, so you're probably like gonna become better friends with my brother. Now. <laughs> oh, awesome! I can't or, wait. Or you should warn him of his what is death. The, what, yes. is this, what does this say about us, though? <laughs> How did he fall out of a plane? That you and me won't be as <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh well, something happens. Uh, people, uh, people change. Oh come on! How did he fall out of a plane? It's I only knew I, it was you know how dreams work. I like knew he fell out of a plane, but I didn't actually see it happen. Oh, all right, that's yeah. good. Where are we going? You have that many voicemails? Yeah, we got a lot of voicemails. Oh. We got a bunch of Lewis. Shit. Oh, someone uh, called after I called. Oh, Lewis. that was uh, that was Zoe. <laughs> Zoe called after I called. Here's a, a voicemail. It's nothing. <laughs> All right, so we left us a silent voicemail. <laughs> and yeah, I think Lewis is like celebrating some kind of book day. Do you remember that? Where he's like, he's like, I'm gonna read a book all day and read it out loud. Every day he reads a book? No, just just today is a holiday. So he's like, oh, uh, is it Ulysses or something? Yeah, Ulysses Day. Uh, nerd. Yeah, <laughs> nerd alert. <laughs> Nerd alert. Um, Lewis is a nerd. Brianna, or yeah, we called you the other day, and Lewis is like, can we uh, read this book? And we're like, I don't know about that, so. He's probably reading some dumb hippie nerd book. Like hippie Ulysses. nerd book, yeah. Wait, Lewis isn't a hippie. Ulysses a sucks. Yeah, all right. Here's the, uh, this is another message. Hi, it's Brianna and Zoe. We each want one raffle ticket or ten. Oh, it's you. Ten raffle tickets or just surprises. All oh, the prizes and maybe no tickets, but just surprises. Give us surprises, please. Thank you. You want a raffle prize? Me and Zoe each want a raffle uh, prize. Do you have a ticket? No, but we want a ticket. There's tickets oh, you can right get, there. Yeah, there's a ticket. So you, oh, you guys can write a ticket for yourself and we'll find a pen somewhere. Uh, we have. Oh. How does this work? You get one free raffle ticket and then you're on there. I think you're already on there, Liam. What? Where's the prizes? The prizes are over there. Hey, uh, do you want to look at the prizes? Hey, Cedar, do you want to grab the prizes? They're over there in that box. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm cutting cheese over, over here. Th right there. <laughs> right there. You see that box? The yeah, box? yeah, yeah. I got it. There's all the prizes in there. I got to get them out. Here's Wait, some prizes. Grab a pen. This is a prize, but somebody already won this prize. They're trying to get it. This is the soap. The soap. Oh. This is his. Handmade soap. Handmade soap by Dad. Who's getting a prize? Who made the soap? <laughs> What's in there? Yeah, you can get a, so, or you, you want a prize? There's the novelty pen. Stuff that's left. Oh, Giant novelty pen. Uh, dangly toy. Mm -hmm. This thing, oh uh, no, that is um, hand sanitizer. And it's thick? Yeah, but you can sanitize your hands, but that stuff causes super germs. That looks like a glue stick. 
Yeah, well, it causes, it causes super germs because you know, if you you know how hand sanitizer it kills 99 percent of germs. But the one percent is the best percent, and then they make more of them. Yeah, then they live. 99.9. Yeah, these are um, gender neutral brown gloves. That's what Dan said about them when he gave it to us. But he said it's it's almost summer. But if you want these gloves anyway. Do you want things to give away as prizes? I have things I don't want. Yeah, you can trade. Here, you want these ones? You can have a prize anyway. I guess it doesn't matter I'm, that much. Uh, no. You want to actually win them? I want, you think I want it's more the exciting? satisfaction of winning. Yeah. I'll give you 10 tickets. Well, yeah, you only get one for, for free. For all the prizes. You can only get one for free. After that, you have to pay a dollar, but that's not for money. That's just so that people don't buy unlimited tickets. Because if they're just free, yeah. people would want them all. They're like, I'll, I'll take yeah, all of them. Totally. So the dollar thing is just to stop people from getting all of them. We've only had one dollar, but you, if you, you can write your name on here. I think you already have one, Liam, and Cedar has one. I, I'm surprised that you don't have one, but have no, you I have one, really? You have one from a oh. long time ago, I think. Cool. I'm not positive about that, though. I don't know. Wait, have you been on the program before, Brianna? <laughs> oh, like, you, yeah. you no. were here, right? Did oh, I went on that for like the last couple minutes of one show. But you never went to the house, right? Yeah. No. Yeah, that one late at night when we, when we all showed up. Yeah. Liam was on here uh, in the house, but he hasn't seen the new studio yet. Yeah, it's great. I love it. It's a great new studio. Yeah. Does anyone want any habanero cheese? Yes. Yeah, I do. All right. Well, there's a piece, and I'll cut some more. That I took a bite out of that. That's gross. Bite. This is the first. Um, <laughs> this is the first Lewis message. It's gonna be reading Ulysses, so we might not listen to it all. We can talk over him like he's not here. Like he's not here. <laughs> he's reading quietly. Do you want any cheese, Rick? Um, yeah. maybe later. All right. Liam, you got to, or Lewis, you got to speak up. What? Oh, yeah, sure. Lewis is really into reading stuff, you know? Like, if there's one book I don't want to hear read out loud, it's Ulysses. He likes reading in public places. I don't know why he does that all the time, but he does it often. I said I would be okay with him doing that, but he didn't ask Cedar. Cedar did. Oh, you have bread? I'll take some cheese now, actually. I'm not pissed. I just, Ulysses is so boring, even when you read it by yourself. He's reading it kind of quietly, though. It's like it's just a holiday where you read this book for, yeah. The deal is, this book all takes place on one day, and today is the day. Just play all the Lewis messages at once. Today is the day that the book takes place. This is Lewis reading different parts of Ulysses. All at the same time? This is getting cool. Here's some cheese. Do you want bread, too? This got really cool all of a sudden. Lewis is cool. Lewis is so cool. Oh, whoa. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. That seems pretty freaky. I, I think we're still going, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can see the TV blinking. I don't know what's happening. We're going to blow up. We're going to blow up. I'm going to get shot. We're going to blow some fuses. How many Lewis voices at once? This is for holiday. Well, this is spicy too. This is weird. This is getting weird. I think I hear voices. Like all the voices together. Yeah. A new voice. If there is some drums and guitar, it would just be Kevlar Klein. Did you ever listen to Kevlar Klein? The Lewis and Band? Yeah, an old band. Oh, it's spicy. I need a drink. Did you, did you bring a drink? That's an old can of soda. Yeah, I, only, I drank all my soda yesterday. Oh, sorry, it's happening now. What the hell? I went from there. What the fuck? Seems like. Yeah. Yes. Who's this? Oh, yeah. Phone call, finish up, but we don't. I think you never, you never finish calling back. Because I don't think they answer so. And your streak's broken. Your streak was broken back whenever they lost the first fucking tape, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> 
You can just take the tan off any time you want. Uh, Mr. Gensu. You treat them in fuckers like somebody. You know, as far as I'm concerned, you treat them a long time ago. I can't have a second one. Something like that. Can't prove by me that she was there. Because I was there and nobody was there. You know what I'm saying? No. But that was, uh, we already talked about that blue shit. Wait, didn't Mr. Gintu call somebody yeah, out yeah. last week? He always calls the people out. I think he called me out. Oh, he called you out on what? Walking last week? We were watching last night. Week. Yeah. He was talking about Tough cool. Talk. Oh, that was Sean, yeah. Oh, that was Sean? Wait a minute. Mr. Uh, likes to call people out and cuss at them. Wow. Uh, you want to call him? Okay, we can call him, Mr. Gintsu. See how he's doing. Yeah. You're going to have to defend your brother, I guess. Because <laughs> he got called out. Wait, for what? I don't get it. He was talking about Tough Talk. And, yeah. Yeah, he was tough Talk. Talking tough. I don't know if he called him out or he just said something. That's something about how he could t talk tough too. I think the sun's going down. We won't have to turn off, turn on the lights. What the hell? Hey, Mr. Gintu. Hey, you got a problem with my brother talking tough? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your brother? Like, you called my brother out, man. That ain't cool. <laughs> oh shit! That's my brother. He talks tough, <laughs> and I'm his brother, and I talk tough too. <laughs> you yeah, funny, you tough. Funny now. You fucking bet I do. <laughs> you don't know how to talk tough. I can talk tough. Oh, yeah, Let's hear it. Let's hear it. One, two, three, go. It's tougher. Yeah. Oh, that's that. Talk oh, that. tough, but put you right out of your little fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's, oh, that's, that's pretty good. That tough. That's pretty tough. I don't know. That, I, that, was, that was tough. That's not what you say. I'll come down there and kick you in your tent, you little bitch. Fuck it, come over and tell me I can't like talk tough, motherfucker. I'll tell you what. Fuck off, fuck off, you little fucking. You talk tough, man. It doesn't matter what you say, you just say it like tough. This is getting intense. Yeah, wow. Well, oh, I am. I am. Call my brother out because he talks tough. Of course I called your brother out. He's a pus. Hey, huh? reach over there to your oh, left. Grab, you got a chick sitting on your left. Reach over there and grab the titty. What? What? Yeah, he wants to talk to me. He's trying to talk to me. Yeah, what? How you doing, Mr. Ginsu? Oh, there's a chick there. <laughs> well, how you doing today? <laughs> hey, did, did you ever did you ever talk to your, your neighbor about mowing his lawn late at night? No, he was fucking two doors down. Oh, so he, Three doors down. So you never, you never talked to him about it? No. What about your other neighbors? You think they, are they having the same kind of trouble though? Oh, my neighbors love mowing the lawn. Oh yeah. How about, how about you do mow your lawn? Do you have like a ride on lawnmower? Cause you can't mow a lawn with your back, right? That's right. No, I got a little weedier I use. You? Fuck, that's fucking almost as bad as anything else, but uh. It's fucking hard to say. Is it gas powered? No, it's yeah. electric. You mow your lawn with an electric weed whacker? Yep. <laughs> it ain't nice. huge. I don't have a big lawn, luckily. Oh, that's good. All right, I have to get the on the motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, did you see, did you see uh, Tuesday's episode with Dick Poos? Um, see, I only mow my lawn because my landlord said he'd charge me 80 bucks if I didn't. Uh, our landlord yeah. got on us about that, too. Yeah, so I, I, What's yeah. I that? pretty much almost told him to go get fucked. I, fuck yeah. I, 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 love mowed lawn. Yeah. I don't even you I, like. Yeah. Who likes mowed lawn? I like uh, long lawns. I don't even like the mowing, but they have to. Like my own, my own like mow your lawn. I'm like, I like long grass. And he said just mow the lawn anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like those grass long and. Where the bugs and the fucking frogs and the snakes can go through there yeah. and fucking, you know. Well, but yeah. no. Do you know how many fucking snakes and frogs I killed fucking yeah. while I'm on my uh, weed eat in my yard? Fuck off. Yeah, the landlord is killing I kill a lot of I uh, kill lots of frogs. I kind of think, you know, Every that. Every time I'm out. Yeah. 
you can grow anything in your lawn, you know? Like, why do we have so many lawns? If we just grew plants instead of having lawns, then we'd have a lot more plants. That's know? right. Yeah. I like, like gardens. Yeah, we should all have gardens instead of lawns. I don't know why we went with grass. Yeah, I'm um, just stupid. Yeah. Why do we have a grass? That, that, was, uh, that was like whenever you put yelm together, it looks like a Monopoly board, kind of. Yeah. So that was part of all that shit. They just wanted it to look nice and planting and like and Yeah. Well, and once you do sit somewhere for a while, if your back don't, you're like, well, I want to do something. And your yard's the next best thing for doing nothing. Yeah. When you're doing something. So if I could, I don't know. They're a bunch of assholes when they come to yards. I used to have to mow five acres on a hill whenever I was a kid. So I don't like mowing yards. Did you I like to freaking think about hurting people whenever I mow yards. Yeah, did, did your parents make you mow the lawn? Uh, my stepdad did. Yeah. Every day after school. Every single day? Go over to your friend's house. It was go mow the fucking lawn. You had to mow the and lawn? And then chop some wood. You had to mow the lawn more yeah. than once a week? Oh, I fucking mowed the lawn every fucking day what? after school. Why? For years. Isn't that... Because my stepdad was an asshole. That's far out, man. I need to kick him in his fucking cunt and make his teeth come out when I'm doing it. The grass doesn't even Fuck grow that fast. Uh, yeah, do Pardon? You... Grass doesn't even grow that fast, though. Ha. You gotta find it. On a hill, it grows. You can't mow all five acres in one day, can you? Oh. I guess. So you sectioned it off. And, and, then, and then he wanted me to like push fucking lawnmower into the bushes and make more lawn. Yes, we did. Knocking the bushes down with the lawnmower and shit. Yeah. So I made myself tracers. some more lawnmower. Made more work. Well, tr you see the tracers? Yeah. And then we had like a bunch of chickens and shit. What a piece of shit. You had chickens on your chickens property? property? Yeah, we did. We had like 50 chickens, a whole bunch of ducks. Did you have to do like uh, animal stuff too? Did you have to like get the get eggs and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, I had to just collect the eggs. What a pain in my ass. Yep. Yeah. You could have done it in my own self. That's too much mowing, yeah. Hey, that was a lot of mowing for kids. Mr. Gitsy, did you did you see did you see the mayor on Tuesday or the mayor candidate? Yeah, I sure did. Do what do you think about that? Somebody you called up and had a question for me when you cut it off so the mayor couldn't hear the freaking Mr. Smartass fucking talk tough fucking question. You thought you, know, like, you, thought you, know, you fucking stand what I'm saying? You thought he was a smartass? Fuck it. I called him. I was calling him out on TV, not the mayor, Mr. Smartass. Freaking oh, yeah, to you. He's talking to you. Cut him off. He's calling you a smartass. Of course I call him a smartass, because he uh, would hear a fucking thing, except for fucking uh, quiet. Very quiet for your smartass. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Fucking talk. Fucking smack, you I'm going to turn off the light. If you're freaking gonna talk smack, you gotta at least freaking smack out the whole time. Come on. That way you can at least be in on the conversation. Hey, I'm trying, I'm trying to fart here. Hey, I used to work with the guy that fucking would run you out of that building if he farted. Hey, why is it all static you for? What, you say he would kill you if you farted? Uh, yeah, I used to work with a guy, and if he farted, you were leaving your building. That's, I think that's good. I don't like, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. You're a big fan? No, I'm not. I'll get you a job <laughs> with him. Oh, okay. Not, not uh, a fan. I'm, I'm not a fan either. I don't, you know, it's excessive. Fuck, you, you would need a fan, but fucking, <laughs> nice. I, I, I just used to fucking, uh, <laughs> Bandana with fucking like your car on it and like and put that around my face. Yeah. People yeah. wanted to look at me like, what the fuck is he wearing a bandana for? Wait, Mr. Gantz, what, kind of, what kind of work did you do? You were a car guy? Is that what you did when you were working? Well, I did construction. Whoa. And fisherman. What What did you build? I was a photographer. 
A photographer? Yep. I worked at Kelt Fair for years. Doing what? In the Everett Mall, in the Bellis Fair Mall. Taking, taking pictures? Yep. Oh, <laughs> with, with and little kids? The Rose Festival. Of kids? Did you take, yeah, of families and stuff? Yep, yep. <laughs> your photos. Do you, do you like kids? I like kids, yeah. Aww. I put up kids just fine. Mm. Here's a step, a stepdaughter and he's a strange. Uh... Anything going on with your strange stepdaughter? No, I don't know. Yeah? Haven't heard nothing. Nothing here. Hey, do you, who do you think should win the mayor? Dick Poost or Karen Rogers? Um, I didn't see the Karen Rogers one, but uh, what's the fucking thing with the Dick Booth dude wanting to do it full time? It's only a two or three, four hour a month job or something, or a week, and he wants to go full time motherfucking shit on it. Full yeah. Person. Does that mean he wants more money? Uh, Wait, he, he that means he, he fucking silly. He only works four what hours a fuck? week. How many hours do you think you want to be partying down as mayor? Yeah. 40 hours a week, baby. Uh, <laughs> I guess least, he wants to make it a big fucking party, who knows? Yeah. You know, but, um, how many push-ups could he do? Yeah, Ooh. I don't think he could do too many. He's old. He's real old. Uh, yeah, he's getting up there. I heard he was in the Hot Fellows. He's like I was thinking about doing his Hot Fellows thing, but I'm like, what the fuck? Hot tub? <laughs> no. What do you say? Hot tub? What do you What are you saying? Hot, hot fellows. Hot fellows. Hot fellow? No. Odd. 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 Oh, he's an odd, odd fellow. Odd. Yeah. Odd. There you are. Yeah, no, he, and see, he, that's a club. He was at the club. That no. <laughs> odd fellows is a club. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> odd fellows is a club. Where is it? Yep. Yeah, it's like the Moose Club. Oh yeah, yeah. He's, he's into, yeah, he's into that kind of thing. Is that a cult or is that like some kind of thing? Where like, is it? They, it's it's whenever I think whenever uh, there's a couple things I think they do. But uh, aren't they like trying to like aren't they like conspiracies that those people are like running the the country and the government and stuff? Yeah, kind of like the Masons and whatnot. Yeah, they yeah. all fucking involved. I don't know if I trust that kind of thing. I don't. Yeah. So maybe Dick Poos is not... It's all bullshit. It's, it's mostly for fucking... They deal with the dead people, see? Like, do you want to deal with the dead motherfucker, or do you want me to deal with the dead motherfucker? Make okay. sure nobody fucking uh, pillages or fucks with his dead body um, before he gets buried. So somebody's got to do that shit, and that's that community of people that do that shit. Yeah. Right? And that's what those people are, mostly. I believe. All right. Well, or as I can come up with, a lot of them like the butcher, the baker, the candle people, you know, <laughs> them buggers. Yeah. Oh, it's all connected, really. That's why they want to be mayor, so they can get connected with the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I trust them. I don't know what's going to happen. Who, who, which who's going to be the mayor? But we'll find out. Well, hey, thanks, Mr. Ginsey. You have anything else you want to say? Oh, nothing really except for fuck off or something. Yeah, all right. Don't be mean. Hey, I'm not being mean. He says that every day. Don't, don't be a smart ass. He says he says that kind of thing every day. Yeah, people. I don't know. You're not. You're just kind of joking, right? It's kind of a joke. That's right. I'm joking. This is for fun. Oh. What the hell is okay. that dude talking <laughs> tough? I'm just a smart ass motherfucker. Just fucking. <laughs> Wasting my motherfucking time, hoping I don't have to hear McDonald's. Fucking, can I have a Big Mac? Yeah, we'll call them next. <laughs> okay, I thought I thought probably so. You've That's been, for which. Have you tried the Have you tried that new lemonade from McDonald's, Mr. Ginsu? Nope, I didn't try it. Oh, okay. Hey, well, thanks for calling. Leave some more messages. We'll see you later. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. Uh, Yay, Mr. Ginsu. Oh, see, did you mic on? We got a mess, maybe it's kind of interesting. Oh. 
No, you think you'll take it out. Goes in and out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, see this mic? See this mic might be out all the way. Oh, it's, oh, 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 it's going in and out. We've got to get the phone. Oh, here, see, see, we'll find the phone. Um, hey, cool. Oh, well, now it's working. Oh, it came back. Oh. I just, I can't move it at all from here. That's I good. was just saying that Mr. Ginsu, he's he sounded pretty tough. Yeah. I think he's tough. I, uh, I would not be surprised if he was super tough. Yeah. He, he I think, I think he, he wants to be tough, but maybe he's a, I don't know. He's a real tough, he's a real tough guy, though, because he likes. What if he's really... It might be Doesn't small, mean but he tough. can't be tough. He he's got a stepdaughter who he likes, and he's uh he he stands up for himself, and he likes to curse. I think he's pretty tough. He's got a ba his back is messed up, so he's in pain all the time. Well, that sucks. Yeah, so I think he's tough. I I would say he's a tough guy if anything. I think he has a mustache. Sometimes I I wonder what he looks like. You should get him to send, uh, you know. No, but he's, he's anonymous. He's Mr. Ginsu. Sure. He's a vote. He's just a voice. He is. Yeah. What if he came here and he kicked your ass? Oh, that would be bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen to me. I bet he can, because he has a bad back. I don't want. I don't want to get my ass kicked. I, I hope. I hope nobody does. That's kind of like Mr. Mr. Poose there. He doesn't. He wants everybody to get a job. <laughs> That's what he was saying. When oh, he was I like that. I want a job. He's like. He's like, I'm like, what are you going to do when you're a mayor? And he's like, well, I'm going to try to get everybody jobs. But he might, you know, it's like a good thing. Everybody wants good things to happen. It was like, I want nobody to get their ass kicked. I want to stop that from happening. And they're like, oh, I don't want to get my ass kicked either. I want did a job, and I don't want to get my ass kicked. Did you ask him about his name? No. Well, he's old. That's why I figured, because um, I was going to be like, you know, you can change your name to like Richard. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, Richie. Uh-huh. Or... I guess churd. Yeah, totally. But uh, but he's old. That's why his name is Dick Poost. I know it sounds like Dick Puss. <laughs> Didn't he? Did you ask him about that? I was going to, and I said I was going to, but then when he was actually here, it didn't seem appropriate. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Some, someone well, told uh, me that he did change his name. From what? From Dick Puss to Dick Pust. To Dick Poost? Dick Poost. Oh. Well, I don't know, but he... And that it used to be Dick Puss. How, is, how did he come across oh. as, a, as a person besides his name? Uh, he, he, he's really nice, but he might be too nice, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. So we don't know. I don't know really now. It's hard to tell, you know, because I think both of the mayor candidates, they only said nice things, and they're not going to say, like, bad things. So how are you supposed to know? Like, like, Karen Rogers was like, I want fiscal responsibility. I like things like that. I want people to not spend the money on bad things. And, Mr. and yeah, Dick Boos was like, I want people to have jobs. That sounds good on all accounts. Yeah, it's like oh, they, they weren't saying too much specific stuff, you know. I think Karen Rogers, uh, Karen Rogers is a more actual pol politician. She's been in the city council for a while. Where Dick Boost is just like a nice guy, so it's kind of like you want like you want like somebody who's going to be on the books and they know what's going on, or you just want like a smiling dude. I like loose cannons. Is, is, do I, you think, think, I think Dick Poost would be more of a loose cannon. Yeah, I like loose cannons even if even if they don't do what I like. At least they're exciting. Yeah, you think that's a, that should be somebody's political platform? Why? I will surprise you. I'm a loose cannon. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. like Howard Dean, he was cool. Yeah, what did he oh, say? He, he was a loose cannon. a loose cannon. What did he say? He's like he he had, he screamed. Was like yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That he was, was fun. I mean, there, there should be more politicians like him. Yeah. He was cool, I guess. Let's call Freddy. I, Freddy's at work, isn't he? Yeah, we can call him anyway. He, <laughs> we're, we're a TCTV show, and he's working at TCTV. Uh, so uh, calling, answering the phone is just doing work. Yeah, that's a part of his job. He's, he's participating in, the, in his... In, in his, uh, his television station. I texted Freddy earlier. I was like, call up Rick. Where is he? But then I sent him another text because you came here like 30 seconds after that. Oh, good. And I was like, NM, he's here. Yeah, now we have the studio, so if I don't show up, then people have to wait outside, I guess. But I was going to show up. I think I wasn't that late. I was only a little bit late. No, no, you're only 10 minutes late. Oh, that's good. Which is pretty much, that's, oh, that's pretty much on time, I think. 10 minutes late. Uh, <laughs> some people might think that. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Freddie 
already answers. They might not answer. They might be doing actual work sometimes. I mean, we're halfway through the program. Uh, this is like a commercial break or something? No, that's halfway through the program. Uh, hey, you've reached uh, Freddie Dilber. I can't come to the phone right now, but yeah. if you leave me a nice message, then I will call that? you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Oh, Freddie, oh my god! Oh, this... <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have half an hour left. Call us back. <laughs> Bye, Freddie. <laughs> I was gonna say like the house was on fire, but then I thought like, would actually get worried. Yeah. I didn't want him to worry. Don't call a fire in an office. So there's no more clock cam anymore. There's just halfway through. There's a. This clock cam. There's a message. Where's the clock cam? It's right here. Uh. Uh. Oh, yeah. Nine fifteen. That's where the clock is. When did we start? Uh. About uh, 8.45, I think. Yep. 8.45, halfway through the program. Moving through time, moving all around. What should we do next? If you guys watch when we start the program, the middle hand will move around the clock, and then when we're done with the program, it'll be back where it started. But one hour later. Yeah, an hour. Well, the minute hand is the same, yeah. Here, let's yeah, take yeah, this, totally. this next message here. It's Cedar and Biala. Hey. I guess we're getting early. We're waiting outside the door. Hey, I hope you come, but you're not late. You're not late yet, but you're going to make Biala sorry if you don't show up. So, hope you come. Uh, bye. We're here. Here we are. Living through time. That yeah. happened. That's good. You guys, that was from right outside, right? Yeah, yeah, right outside the door. Hey, have you guys seen anything uh, on the streets lately? Anything interesting? Oh, Freddie tried to call us back. You guys see anybody fall down? Nah. Oh my god, I did see someone fall down. What, really? It was so funny. Oh no. Okay. So I was, wait, should we wait for Freddie to answer before well, I tell uh, my story? Yeah. Okay. okay, let's wait. Well. Yeah, stay tuned, we have a story about falling down. This sounds tra tragic. It was, it was an interesting falling down story. I hope Freddie doesn't answer that and we can hear Hello? it sooner. Oh, oh hey, Freddie. Hey, Freddie. <laughs> Freddie. Hey, guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm at work and I can't. I have, like, a little time to talk. Or I could call you on the on the main phone. Oh. They're just getting out of a studio shoot over here, so. Oh. oh. How are you guys doing Do you there in the studio? Do you want to hear a story about falling down? He doesn't have time. Yes. Oh. yes. I want to hear a story about falling down. Was it on the street? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Liam's going to tell it. Okay, so I was driving my car towards downtown Des Moines, and there was a, a, a lady holding her, like, toddler. Oh, and no. The to she let the toddler go, and the toddler started running, and then he just fell on his face <laughs> really hard. Oh. And I saw it, and I, and I started laughing. Oh. And then, like, two other relatives of the family walking with the toddler saw me laughing oh. and they pointed at me and then started laughing <laughs> so it was like I had a family moment with them, and I was a part of it and, family and they, moment. they acknowledged that I was a part of it was he okay? yeah he was fine but oh. I felt kind of bad for laughing at him but it was just too funny I was the only car that saw it it's, it's cute right? yeah it was yeah. really cute he was wearing a yellow shirt oh. sweatpants well hey Freddie how's the production been going? Oh, it's going, it's going good. Um, I actually switched over to encoding um, the program in a different codec. We're using Apple ProRes again. Been playing with the whole like capturing at home setup again, mm -hmm. and it's been working really good. Although the Friday tape was a little messed up, and I'm about to recapture it again. But we're all on on schedule for tonight, and we'll be ready for the weekend. Getting the YouTube working. Yeah, pro production is going great. Okay. I, um, yeah. We had a little scare last night, but it was over. Yeah, oh, yeah, there was a scare last night. It seemed like that we weren't going to get to play on TV. But then I think that, like, Bill must have scheduled us from home. So that was really nice of him. Cool. So we appreciate Bill. Holy font. He's a great playback engineer. I like these. We have these. On the new machines, we have these needles that show the sound. I like that. Ooh. Yeah, I want to see these new machines. Oh, it's time for commercial break. See you, man. All right. Well, okay, yeah, bye, Freddie. Bye. <laughs> All of our time immersed in the internet. Our computer monitor becomes 
an extension of our consciousness. Yeah, that's one. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. What is it for? We act like oh. it's not true, but it is. You, you start to realize it becomes harder and harder to function. Your daily they're like an, an internet band. Oh, hey, welcome back to the program. Look at those uh, things. Let's get into Woo! the red. We can't even get close to the red. <laughs> How do we get to the red? Is there like some secret yell you have to do? Oh, he's got to turn up the volume on the thing, but I, I think it's... No, there's there's a limiter on. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, damn it. Yeah. You want no limit, no limits. I want to be in the red all the time. So, uh, some questions about the commercial. Tony C is the guy who in Florida. Um, the commercial is anybody can have a commercial. You, uh, you know, just send a commercial in. It could be about anything. I think that commercial is just about this guy. He's just like, I want a commercial, and then I, I said, okay, we'll send us one. I heard. Uh, I heard last. Play anything? Yeah, I heard last night that some some guys from Christmas are thinking about making a commercial. Yeah, they want. I already a got one for you. Oh, good. Some guys from Christmas. Christmas the band. Yeah. yeah. Claus. Christmas the band. Yeah, they were they were watching. One of the guys was watching the program and just talking about Dave. local band. Crave for like what? Oh, talking we'll, about we'll commercials. Do that. They should appear on the program though. I don't think anybody. F oh yeah, I think Dave might have been on the program. He's in the band, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's he, Dave. Uh, I think he's been on one time, but they should come on the band. They could bring their commercial. That'd be pretty cool. I bet they would. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, they want. Where do you send it? To your email. Yeah, you can just uh, email us. We're at. Uh, um, What's the email? Where are we? Uh, your daily hour with me. At gmail.com. At gmail, yes. So, how does it work? So you press that button, and it went to the commercial. E so where's the commercial store? On the tapes. So you have on to that one. So you have to take it from the computer and put it on the tapes. Yeah, I put on. I made these tapes. See the background. This is the background tape right here. See, so this is what one tape is, and then we just put this on the background, and then it goes, and then so we have the overlays and stuff. Oh wow. Yeah, Sean tried to call us while we were on the commercial break. So this is, we're calling Sean back. I think last time. Last Sunday, it was real late. We talked to Liam about video games for like an hour, or I mean, not an hour, I guess that's all the time. Yeah, like, you should let me do that live. I don't know, that was long. I won't do it as long as There's some good news, though. Like, okay, what? Video game news? Yeah, it's some good new news. Oh, you don't even want to know about Duke Nukem Forever. I want to know about Skyrim. Yeah, that's going to be tight, but Duke Nukem <laughs> Forever was supposed to be tight, and it's getting abysmal. Oh no! Please leave your message. Oh, oh no, well, that Sean sucks. Calls back. Yeah, we'll have to talk about that later. All right. Did you have you guys seen anything on the streets? I know Liam said he saw somebody fall down. You guys didn't see anything exciting? I've been on the streets a lot, but I haven't been seeing much. How about in the desert? You just came back from the desert, right? Yeah, we uh, we saw lots of obsidian glass. We thought it was broken beer bottles all over our campsite, and it turned out to be volcanic glass. Whoa! Yeah, that was pretty cool. Did some off-roading and some mudding. Got some mud on my truck. Whoa. Yeah. Hey, do you guys want to come back on the program? Do you want to schedule? I'm doing the scheduling thing, so then you guys can come back next week. Yeah, Sean's, Sean's on Sundays, Lewis is on Saturdays, and Dan's on Mondays. You guys can get a day if you want, or you can come back in the next couple of weeks. You want to come back? I would, but I'm, I'm leaving town on uh, Friday for a while. I wanna, you... I'm going to be gone the last week of June. All right. So... We will put somebody. You guys can go in the future too. We I'm gonna to be back on the. July I think yet. I'm gonna be back on the 15th of July. When is the 4th of July? I gotta mark that one. That's gonna be on a dam. Oh. On a dam? On a dam day. What? A 4th what? of July next week. Here. A, a what day? Oh, a Dan, Dan. Oh, Dan. Uh, I thought you were filming on a dam. I thought so too. Damned. You should film on like. What's that dam? Bonneville Dam. Yeah. Hey, what's that really big one? Hoover, Hoover Dam. In Hoover Eastern Dam. Washington. Cooley. Uh, Grand Is Cooley the Grand Dam. Dam. The Grand Cooley Dam. I don't know. Are you gonna have any more? They have a road across the top. You could. Yeah, but you're, if you stop, you're a terrorist. Any more what? Oh, yeah. Are yeah. You know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you'd do like, this. All these wires. So cool. All these wires up there would make them nervous. Any more? More <laughs> your daily hours like on. 
certain location sites, um, like different locations? Yeah, we don't have any plans. The field trip shows, I would like to do that. If you guys want to have one in your home, if you guys want to have an event out your there. Your daily R will come to your home. Oh, you yeah. should do one in my dad's garage. He's yeah, well, a lot of stuff. If you want to do one outside of the Thurston County area, you got to drive us, I guess. Okay. So people could book you, you can for put a it in party. Sean's truck. Yeah, if you guys want to party, I'm down, I'm down to party. <laughs> I want to party. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Yeah, but, uh, if you guys want to have the show, you want to host it for a day, we can bring the show to your yeah, house. It'll be one fun. of the things on the top here should say, like, you want us to come to your party? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we do come. kids' parties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could be on your couch. <laughs> Actually, we probably just come in. We, we could hook up into your TV and your couch, and we could just like watch. It's like your. It's like where you are in your own living room. That's pretty pretty good. We should go on like a little living room tour. Would Would you uh, make people like pay for this, or would it be just for fun? People no, it's just for fun. Yeah, I don't think I'm allowed to make money off anything. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, right. were well, you from Washington, Brianna? Me? Yes. Yeah. What? Where, where in Washington? I grew up in Shoreline. Shoreline. Is, Where's Shoreline? It's like North Seattle. Mm. Uh, so we're all Washington people here. Yeah, oh, yeah. We're totally. getting a phone call from Sean. Yeah. Sean. Hey. Hey, bro. Guess what? Guess what I did? Yeah. I, I stuck up for you, man. You defended your honor. Some guy was not was calling you out for talking tough, and I we called him, and I and I called him out for calling you out. I heard it. And I totally out tough tough talked him for you. I think the other guy tough talked tar harder. No, he no, didn't. no. I no, he I think Liam won. Oh, I won. What do you mean he doesn't like tough talking? Who's got a problem with tough talking? I know, talking? Mr. Ginsu. Mr. Ginsu. Oh, of course, Mr. Ginsu does. I got a bone to pick with Mr. Ginsu. Yeah, he's got a bone to pick with you. Yeah, and he now wants he wants to, to kill ass. me. So we're going down together, Sean. Uh -oh. But with the two of us, we can definitely out tough talk him. Yeah. He's not that tough. He's, He's not just that like tough. To He's not as tough as two brothers. Yeah. That would be pretty hard to beat. Yeah, you got to beat two people. Oh, he's got to be an old guy. He can't have anything going yeah. for him. He has a, his back. He has a bad back. He got in a car wreck, and now he uh, he's in pain all the time. So I don't think he's much of a fighter. He's yeah, a tough he, talker, he, though. We can easily take him, Sean. Yeah, but you could, you could, but he's a talk. He'll talk you down. He talks. He talks tough. You know, I think it's better that maybe we try to calm him down or something, have him be our friend. Yeah, yeah. tough talking is not lead to um, conflict resolution. Exactly. It's tough talking is only good for debating. And then I don't want to tough talk anymore. Yeah, why don't we? That's not fun. Why don't we calm down? Uh, it's, not it's, tough. Yeah, we'll, we, we don't have to talk tough, but you know, Soft sometimes talks. I got I got a tough talk. Sometimes it's necessary. Tender talk. <laughs> uh oh. You guys don't sound too tough to me. Yeah. You guys sound tender. Kenny, Kenny likes to talk tender. Tender talk. That's a, I was trying to think of the opposite mm. of tough. It's like a steak. Tender steak. Yeah, tender. Tender. That sounds good. Like tender, tender chickens. What yeah. Raw talk. Raw talk. Raw. What? So, Sean, what do you do? You have anything to say? You're calling just to talk to Liam, or? Uh, I was just calling to say, hey, what's up, everyone? And, and I, I love the program. What are you I'm doing? Ready to come back. I'm eating uh, some happy teriyaki. Oh, that's mm. good. What's Chandra doing? Chandra's uh, washing the dishes. Cool. What are the uh, cats doing? Cats are playing in a box. Oh. Playing in a box and they're poking their head out of a hole in the box. Oh. We're watching Seinfeld. Oh. Which one is that? Which episode of Seinfeld? Uh, it's the one where they're eating food out of a foil. It's the conversion. The, the conversion episode. George goes Latvian Orthodox. Oh, yeah. George goes Orthodox. Latvian Orthodox. Latvian Orthodox. Oh, I think I remember that, yeah. Because his wife. Yep, he yeah. needs trying to score points with the, with the wife. That's pretty good. Well, he hates how far, in, how far into it are you? Liam's, Liam's not a, a fan. It's, we're about 45 minutes in. All right. All right. I hate Seinfeld because everyone else likes it. I wasn't that big of a fan, but then I watched it all at once one time, and I think it's pretty good. I don't well, what do you got? You got, a, you got a problem with the Seinfeld? Yeah, I have a problem with like everything that anyone likes. Liam's emo. Like if you if you like it, chances are I hate it. 
Liam's underground emo, yeah. I only listen to cool underground bands and watch cool underground movies Liam's and tough. eat underground food. Like uh-huh. potatoes? Like, yeah, like beets. <laughs> I, I don't even want to explain because then if I told you, you guys would like it and then I'd have to hate it. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Well, hey, Sean, I want to keep calling other people at McDonald's and stuff, so do uh, you have anything else you want to say today? Benny, are you entering hometown? Um, no, we missed it already. Mm. All right, do next year. Talk, talk to you guys later. All right, Bye, Sean. Goodbye. We, Bye. we lost, we lost an award and made me disheartened on awards. I never won awards, you know. It's called it's McDonald's. I always lose awards. I've never won an award. Every time I try to do something where there's a judging, but who are the judges anyway? You know, who, who judge not? Yes, DV judge, judging panels. Uh-oh. What McDonald's is this? Uh, this is in California. Oh, no, this one's in Missouri. What the? California, Missouri. I want to call California, California. Um, I want to get... Yeah, we should get another mic, because that mic seems to be going Hello. in and out. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey. Hello. Hey, McDonald's. It's the program. Uh, if you give us a call back, the number here is 330 Hello? Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, no, all right. Yeah. Now we're back. Yeah, so cool. I'm on the phone mic now, and that mic is, has gone out. I guess that's a crappy one, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. The crappy mic finally died. It's been kind of pittering out for a while. I think I should throw it away. It's good to have good mics. You know, it's it's a big part of the show. Yeah. This is a really good mic. Yeah, sure, Liam's got the fancy it. one. These guys, you guys in the middle got the fancy ones. I got the least fancy one. It's a phone. Whoa. Uh-huh. Whoa. Oh, that McDonald's was the internet. Yeah, this next McDonald's is in Torrance, California. I'm trying to call one of these McDonald's. Oh, Liam left us a text message. What is it? He says, yo, hey, Liam, what's up? Oh, hey, Liam. Yeah, I'm on the show. It's pretty uh, good. Your brother texted or called himself and left a message in the past. It's been done already, Liam. Well, yeah, he's my brother. I have to do everything he does. All right. The McDonald's aren't answering today. McDonald's. I think they know. Yeah. There was probably a mass email that went out to all the McDonald's that were like, do not answer this number. Oh my gosh. Isn't that a different What if that happened? Like all the time? I think, I you think. You should block it. You should block it. They everybody. totally blocked you. Yeah. That would take a lot of effort though. One of them didn't. I'll find them. I think I brought back the sauce. You know how they, they have you seen the new McDonald's commercials? They have all the new sauces, but it's all the same sauces. Like, yeah. What's new? The sweet chili's back. And they like they revamped ranch. they revamped the sl- flavors though they they re they redid them. I bet the ranch is better. Yeah, the ranch McDonald's ranch is kind of weird. I think they really they redid bad. it all. It was kind of tangy. It was like tangy. It was like watery. That's horrible. Water and tangy, yeah. They still have like the honey honey the sauce. Best, the best. Is yeah, Arby. straight up honey. Arby has the, Arby's has the best ranch. Uh, I think in that box next to you, there's we have all the sauces in a box there. Oh, is there honey? On, under, on the bottom. Try some. On the under the garbage. Is there honey? Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna eat some honey sauce. I want honey. It's it's full of garbage. So <laughs> under the garbage though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me see. Let me see. Here, give it to me. All right. I'll, I'll do find you it. Put the garbage back in. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Oh yeah. Under the garbage is the sauce. <laughs> It's, not, it's a bad place to hold food, but uh. Yeah, under a bunch of garbage. I, uh, I believe this wasn't supposed to be a garbage can. It was supposed to be for the sauces, but then people started throwing garbage in. It's the sauce box. It was supposed to be for the sauce. Here's the sauce. I revealed it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. There's a honey. Here's a honey. Oh, I want the honey. Dibs. Wait. Oh, I want the honey. Dibs. This is gonna. Oh, be there's good. another one. Honey time. This McDonald's not answering. They, they blocked you, dude. Yeah. Oh, Arby's Marinara. You're gonna eat, 
Eat it straight up from our reason right now. This one, next one's, uh, they're not answering. I'll call the next one yeah, in Fresno. This next one's in Fresno, California. This honey tastes a little weird, I must admit. I think it's got corn syrup in it. Sorry about that. McDonald's, answer the phone. Maybe, maybe we've, I've been blocked. Yeah. It says pure honey. Does that mean no corn syrup? Maybe. It's, oh, on the, there's ingredients on there, right? Yeah. It's just... There's no ingredients on here. Oh. I don't know what it means to be pure, according to McDonald's standards, anyway. And what are they doing? Maybe they maybe I've been blocked. It, it finally happened. Oh, hey McDonald's. Yeah. Hey, do you guys have the orange milkshakes? Uh, no, we don't have no orange milkshake. We have strawberry, uh, vanilla, and chocolate. Uh, just the regular ones. You know if you're gonna get those orange ones in anytime soon? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, you guys don't have like a calendar or something? Uh, uh no. Um, I haven't heard any of us getting orange milkshakes. No. Well, how do you guys find out what food you're getting in next? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, usually our store manager will let us know. I haven't heard anything. Oh, all right. Sorry about that. Okay, thank you. Does, you... does McDonald's have a website? Yep. I bet it's McDonald's.com. That's just a guess, though. You've never been to it? Mm, no. But what if they say everything that you want to know at their website? Well, we're... <laughs> The point of the phone calls, I mean, I already, know, I already know most of the answers, but we're trying to call and we're, we're calling these places in the country and we're connecting to them electronically. And then we listen to their voice and we get to hear what people sound like in different places and we're like sending signals out and we're sending them through the wires and they're going through the country and then they end up somewhere else and then we talk to somebody else. Have you ever made international McDonald's phone calls? Uh, we can call Canada. What about like... India and Japan. Mm. I hear they have cool McDonald's there. That costs money. So if you guys want, if you want to send, if you want us to call internationally, you can donate money to the program for international phone calls. You guys can donate money for anything. You go to ydhwm.co.cc and we got a little donate button on there. And what you can do is uh, give us money, but you can specify what you want us to spend the money on. So if you just like, you're just like here, here's five dollars. Go do something crazy, and then we'll, we might do it, unless it's like. I guess like illegal or, or super crazy or something. That'd be pretty cool to have international phone calls. Yeah. So if you guys want to see some international phone calls, just send in. I mean, uh, we could probably do it for a couple of bucks. So just go to ydhwm.co.cc or send money to uh, 1063 Capital Way, uh, Office 212, Your Daily Hour with Me Studios. Uh, and then we can start making some international phone calls. We, you want to call Canada? Uh, I just want you to call it yeah, India. I, I hear they have pizza at their McDonald's. Oh, what? I no heard there was way. A big, I heard there was a big riot in Canada about about hockey. Oh, about uh, the um, Vancouver versus the... Uh, yeah, you should ask them about how was the riot. Vancouver and Boston? Yeah, I saw, like, smoke rising from the city. What? Oh. And then I saw there were pictures on some blog. There were a bunch of people throwing mannequins through windows and stuff. Whoa, let's, we can try to call Canada and ask them about that. Light and shit on fire. Yeah, I bet they know. We only have, Did you have the typing of the dead on there? Uh, yeah, but I never got it to work on my computer. Uh, you know they have a, like a guitar hero of the dead. Whoa. Where you play guitar riffs to kill the zombies. That sounds fun. I want, I want to play typing of the dead. Uh, Freddie told me about that, but I never got it to run on my computer correctly, so never do it. Yeah, I remember that one was on Dreamcast. Uh, wait, how do we call Camp Canada? Canada, Canada white pages or yellow pages? Canada. Here we go. We're gonna call Canada and then um, whoa. Is that a motorcycle in the parking lot? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, That's who Mr. should we Ginsu. call? Uh, oh <laughs> God. Mr. Coming. No. Oh, McDonald's in Canada. The shit beat out of me. I think we have multiple doors that you have to go through. Yeah. We're going to have to barricade the door. Vancouver's in BC, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> it corrected for me. Here we go. Let's call this McDonald's. Oh, what? 
We have about five minutes left. Thanks for being on the program, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got to try to call this, this thing. Oh, no, I'm locked up. Wait, you did it? Are we gonna, we're, are we gonna make it? Are they gonna answer in time, too? I think, is Vancouver in the same time zone as us? Yeah, yeah. totally. They're like our sister city, kinda. Okay. So, we're, yeah, we're just gonna ask them about the, 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 about the riots. In North yeah. No? Isn't that awesome? Yeah, good, good job, Vancouver. Yeah, they lost to Boston. Good evening, McDonald's. Hey, Vancouver McDonald's? Uh, <laughs> They're still upset about the riot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, they thought that we were from Boston. Did they just hang up? Yep. Fuck Boston. Let's call the next one, I guess. Ask them about the riots. Yeah, well. That sucked. They were mean. I heard Canadians are all mean. <laughs> Uh, too. They've been pretty nice on the phone when I call them at McDonald's usually, but who knows really. I guess it's just hockey fans that I mean. Hey, McDonald's. Hey, McDonald's? Yep. Hey, did you guys see any riots in Vancouver? Are you calling from where? What? Uh, this is McDonald's, okay? Yeah, but if I... If you want I, information, you can call the police if you want the information. Uh, yeah, but I... I'm busy right now. Oh, okay. Bye. Man, oh, Canadians are Canadians. mean today. Yeah, well, they're they're, really they're just trying to work hard, I guess. Game. Yeah, they're probably upset about the riots too, because I heard they trashed a bunch of stores and stuff. Oh, maybe they trashed the McDonald's. Yeah. They're yeah, probably, probably busy like rebuilding it. Yeah. Uh, I saw a bunch of stuff on fire and you know cops and everything. Let's call. Oh, should we call one more Canada place before the show's over? We'll call this Bob Bob Jones here. Uh, people get excited and then their hopes are crushed and they take it out on the cops. I think they just they want to trash the cop cars and the stores and stuff and they just need a good excuse. They need to make like areas where like when when fans of a game are mad at the outcome, they can just go into an area like a like, pillow pit. Yeah. <laughs> a giant. And just let it out pit. there. Just, just thrash around, yeah. hit stuff. Nothing. It won't matter. It's a pillow pit. You know those foam pits that they used to have at the gymnasium? Yes. I, I love those. I, I went to a place like I that. I want to live birthday. in those. Really? Recently? Yeah, it's this place called Sky High Sports in Bellevue. Oh, oh yeah. sounds so and cool. It was awesome. They have trampolines from wall to wall. Uh, play play dodgeball uh, against little kids. Awesome. I love foam pits. Yeah, we should all go. All right. We should film the show in a foam pit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, that would be a good That would be so pit. cool. People jumping behind you. All the machines would be just bouncing around. That would be a lot of fun. Doing their own thing. Hello. Please leave your name. Oh. I have a call, and I'll get back to you. Who's this? It's Bob Thank Jones you. in Vancouver, Canada. Hey, Mr. Jones, uh, it's the program. I wanted to find out if you guys uh, saw any riots. Please call me back. My number is 330-536-3802. Thank you. All right, well, that's probably it for a phone call. Oh, yeah, one minute left. It's the big finale of the show. Oh, no. I didn't get to do my video game news. Oh, you can do it still. Wait. You only have one minute. Yeah, have one. All right, video game news on your daily hour with Liam Downey. Hurry. Woo. All right, so... Yeah, Duke Nukem Forever just came out, and it got received poorly. I thought you said that already. Very upset. That is the biggest news right now. All right, that was exciting. Oh, what about Skyrim? Sky Elder Scrolls Skyrim is going to come out eventually, and it, it will be really good. You'll be able to fight dragons, and you'll be able to, like, dual-wield spells and what? combine them to make one wow. big spell. Can you dual-wield cool. swords? I'm pretty sure you can. Can you dual-wield anything? I'm pretty wielding. sure you can. Yeah, that's what pretty good. A sword in one hand and a bow in the other hand. Yep, I'm pretty sure you can How do that. How would you pull the string? Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can pull back of the intro. Or the outro. Oh, hey, yeah. June. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Yeah, the string. Thanks, crew members. You guys want to be on the crew? See you just on the crew. Yeah. You guys can be on the crew if you want. Hey, Woo! how come hey. my name's not on? You can be on there. Thanks, You're viewers. Not on the I be on the crew. Oh, we can put you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks, TCTV. Channel 22. Bye, Freddie. Thanks, Bye, little baby. baby. Westside baby. Farmers Market. Saturday at 9 a.m. to be Garfield Elementary. Love, baby. Thanks, Tony oh, C. Tony and the Jets. The they made the commercial. Hopefully, maybe Christmas some of those video commercial as well. Bye, bye. Bye. Oh, it's the old.